Hello everyone, Skills on Logic here, and in this video, what I'm going to be doing is showing you guys another tutorial on how to make an automatic zombie or skeleton spawner for 1.16. And this works in any versions before that has the magma block because that is what we're going to be using, and that is what the whole design is based upon, the magma block which is not really hard to get. You can get it in the overworld and in the nether, but it is a super, super efficient farm and I use it on my survival series. If you guys are new and want to see some more content, make sure you do subscribe because I do post every week and I do have a survival series going on that you guys might enjoy. Other than that, hope you guys enjoyed the video. First things first, you're going to want to find a spawner. Then we just want to light it up on every side to make sure nothing spawns and we could actually loot these chests. Okay, there's nothing there and there's nothing in either of these, but it's still a pretty good amount of loot. What you want to do next is expand this room so there are four blocks on each side and three blocks above and two blocks underneath. Actually, three blocks underneath. Then you just want to block out any caves that lead towards it and then you have all of this right here you can see three blocks above three blocks underneath and then four blocks that go on each side then you want to add a bucket on this side and a bucket on this side of water so you have a path sort of like this and then add one in here and add one right in here so it all leads into the middle so all four sides are filled with water that's all you need four buckets and then the main part is done now for this, it doesn't really matter how far you dig down, but you do want to be at least 16 blocks from the spawner. So I would say just enough room for you to make a nice, decent room or base around it. It can be a simple room just like this. And then for underneath, what you want to do is add your magma block and then add something so the skeletons cannot go outside of it. For this, I'm just going to add some glass so I could see the skeletons and it could be pretty cool. You could do something like this so you don't even need to hit them. But if you do want to farm skeletons, you can add a slab right here and then just hit the skeletons. Nothing too crazy but you could just leave it like this and you will never have any skeleton problems. So this is the fun part where you need the rail cart and you need some chests. So what you want to do is add rails and a mine cart with a hopper. And now what this is gonna allow you to do is when something lands, it'll go right into this hopper without having to do anything. So you could just leave this blocked off and it'll automatically land into the hopper so what i would do is plan out where you want your chest to go now if you do want a tutorial or design on these rooms i could easily make one but for the purpose of the video link i want to make it short and simple for you guys i just have a chest here and then add a hopper a rail and then a minecart with a hopper rail now what this does is if something lands into this it'll go into the hopper minecart then go into the actual hopper into the chest so if I am just going like that and I add a bunch of stuff, it's going to go through here into this hopper and the hopper is not facing the chest. But if I face the hopper towards the chest real quick, as you can see, the hopper is facing the chest. So all we need to do is place the rail again, the minecart with a hopper, and then we can add the magma block. And now it's going to work. So it was just facing the wrong direction, but it all goes into the chest. Very, very simple and effective way for a starting survival series. Once that is done, you can now take the lights off of your spawners and allow your skeletons to spawn. Right here, you can see right when it spawns, it is just going to keep taking damage with the magma block and eventually it is just going to die. Yep, there we go. It is dead and it may not. Yep, nothing spawned with that skeleton, but wow, there are there are a lot there. There are a lot. Oh my gosh, there are so many. There are so many. <laughs> this is wow. So after they all died, I have five bones and seven arrows in literally under a minute. This is crazy now. Oh, this is very loud. I got to stop this. 
a few tips to help you guys out you do want to make sure there is a slab on top of the spawner it allows the skeletons not to spawn on top of it and just stay on top of it the slab allows no mobs to spawn on top of it along with a little trick that i like to do is if you can see the cave that leads towards it i want to torch up the entire cave so i could prevent mobs from spawning because what happens is right here if there are caves around it spiders and skeletons and creepers they'll all spawn around it and it'll cause less mobs to spawn from the spawner so if you can kind of torch up everything now it doesn't have to be perfect as you can see but if you just find some caves torch it up less mobs will spawn which means more can spawn in the actual spawner so now what i'm going to do is actually decorate this place a little bit and show you guys what i have in mind of how this base will look Now, after all of that, you guys want to make sure that there is enough light or there is not enough light. Oh my gosh. Well, that, that, that's loud. That is very loud. These are, these are very loud skeletons. I would definitely recommend turning down the volume. Okay. I had to turn them down quite a bit because they are very annoying, but I just made a simple room like this. It literally took me like five minutes to do. Now it is just, you know, you don't need to do this of course, but this is just one style of the room I did. And I just added, you can see the hopper minecart is still there. And all of it just goes into this chest. As you can see, there is over a stack of bones already. And this is literally a freshly loaded world with about 10 minutes in this, making this base and making the tutorial in general. And I think it is a very good spawner, especially for beginners. Now it does require a, a, few, a few hoppers if you wanna make a room like this, but you only really need two hoppers in order to make this work. So it is actually a very good spawner and I have it in my survival world, like I said. So hopefully you guys did enjoy. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. I have many more tutorials. I have survival. I have a bunch more videos, which you guys might find interesting. So I recommend you do check out my channel. And if not, it's okay. Hope you have a good day. See you guys next time. Goodbye.